I started racing when I was uh, nine years old, just doing flat track stuff at home. So uh, my brothers always did it, and you know, so I just kind of followed behind them. When I'm dragging my knee in the corner, it's just, you know, it's the way, only way to turn the bike really because the steering is so, uh, so small. But you know, my most asked question about that from my friends and stuff is if it, you know, if my knee gets hot. So, uh, you know, it's just part of racing, so I don't really think about anything. So does your knee get hot when you're dragging? No, it doesn't. <laughs> yeah. um, what a fan can expect if they come to a superbike race is the speed, I think. You know, TV really doesn't do it justice, I believe, and how low we get and, you know, how much we're actually riding the bike and you know it's not uh, it's not just like riding on the street so uh, you know most people tell me you know they can't believe how fast we go how far we're leaned over so uh, I think that's the main thing uh, well I think about going that fast sometimes it's scary like Daytona the bike moves around a lot so uh, that can be a little bit scary and when we used to go to Brainerd we had a 180 mile an hour turn so uh, that definitely would wake you up in the morning. Well, my bike is compared to one you can buy in a dealership. Well, you know, since I ride super bike and super sport, it's different because uh, actual super sport bike is supposed to kind of be like a, you know, a stock class. So uh, it's pretty close to what you can buy. But the super bike is totally different. You know, we got forks, swing arms, frames. You can, you know, build the motor. So uh, it's totally different than what you can buy on the street. The coolest part for me on the race weekend is uh, if I win the cool off lap, you know, because, you know, the feeling you got, you just won and you're so excited and, you know, the fans are cheering and you're waving to them and things like that. So uh, that's definitely the best. Do you have any special celebration you do on that cool off lap to kind of get that energy out? No, I don't really have a special celebration. I mean, I usually do a burnout, but now that comes with a fine. So, uh, those have kind of slowed down a little bit, but as long as I'm winning, I don't mind paying it. Uh, it's definitely hard to prepare mentally to ride two classes a day, especially when uh, it's really hot outside. You know, they're back to back, just physically you're drained after the first race, and then you got to start going right back to a completely different bike. So uh, it's definitely pretty draining, but. Uh, at the same time, sometimes I believe it helps because you get extra track time on the weekend, but uh, it has its advantages and disadvantages. The difference between the riding style and super sport and super bike is uh, it's kind of a lot, you know, because the super sport bike's slower and, uh, you know, corner speed is pretty important in keeping your momentum going and, you know, traction's not that big of an issue. Where on a super bike, do you want to use the power? So, uh, you know, it's kind of stopping and get the bike stood up and, you know, going fast.